Welcome, brave souls, to a realm where nightmares breathe and the darkness whispers secrets that chill the soul. Tonight, we embark on a bone-chilling journey into the sinister world of the haunting hearse, a spine-chilling clown encounter. Prepare yourself, for what you are about to witness will send shivers down your spine. You may have heard whispers of the legend, an ominous hearse roaming the midnight streets, driven by a ghastly clown with eyes that pierce through your very soul. A mere tale to entertain around the campfire, some say. But tonight, I shall unravel the haunting truth that lies behind this tale. It all began with Sarah. She was on her way to her friend's house over in Astoria. It wasn't far, but she hated the drive. Three of the seven miles were along a narrow road cut through a dense pine forest. The road was dark and spooky. The only thing that broke up the high skyline and allowed the low-hung moon to cast a bit more of its eerie glow onto the road was a clearing on which stood a faded and tattered old circus tent. Sarah hated that part of the road more than any other. The worst was after she had gone past the tent, the road behind pitch black, like a child she always imagined monsters in the dark chasing after her. Of course it was all just the dreamings of a young woman who had always been scared of the dark. Tonight was different though. Her heart pounded as she spotted headlights in her rearview mirror, flickering like sinister eyes in the dark. The car drew very close and Sarah could see it was driven by a very scary looking clown. She floored the accelerator leaving the hearse to disappear behind her. Sarah shared her nightmarish tale with her friends, who told her there was an urban legend, about a hearse driven by a supernatural and evil clown, who drove the hearse out of the old circus tent, onto the road and killed anybody he managed to stop on that road in the woods. After many objections from Sarah, the group decided to drive into the forest to the old circus tent and see what they could find. But they would soon find out this was no mere urban legend to be consigned to the realms of myth and folklore. This was real. The haunting hearse awaited them, parked by the ancient tent. Sarah and her friends were shocked. They never really expected to find the hearse. They sat in their car for several minutes not knowing what to do as the hearse seemed to shift and change in the spectral fog. John. The craziest of the group and the only one that was drunk got out of the car to investigate. The hearse was empty. Seemingly from nowhere the clown appeared. Smashing into Johnny half pushed, half fought John into the ethereal shadows of the decrepit tent. Brian, the only other man in the car leaped out, shouting to the girls to drive off for the police if he wasn't back in five minutes. As soon as Brian disappeared into the shadows John's piercing scream ripped through the cold night air. Within seconds Brian's scream, more guttural and sounding like a man experiencing hell sent another shiver down the backs of the girls who, seconds later sped off in search of the police. Despite the girls returning with the police less than 15 minutes later, no trace of the two men was ever found. No bodies, no blood, no DNA, no fibers from their clothes, nothing. The ancient circus tent was removed, but reports still continue to speak of a ghostly hearse driven by a maniacal clown. To this day, late at night, those in the know avoid that lonely stretch of road in Oregon. Please tell me what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.